on a little trail out here on what this shit called Somerville, South Carolina. On the way to the library to recheck out these books. Been reading that food history book. See if I can recheck them out and um shit move forward from there. They got them a nice little trail. I don't know if they got have a name for it, but shit, it's life. I was watching a video about like this little helicopter that somebody was flying inside like a little neighborhood. And I'm like, if I learn how to fly a little helicopter, I probably, I probably, it probably takes a lot to get a license though. Cause you really got to do a lot of studying and know your stuff. But I'm like, it looks simple, but study to show yourself approved. That's what they say. So, you know, growing up, I have a job and I'm very grateful for the employment experience. I want to consider myself a skillful worker because when it comes to fast food restaurant, you know, a lot of people are there for different reasons. Some people actually are very known for being great cooks inside their personal households. So, you know, that can attract customers and your family. And then on top of that, you have to be passionate about food, you know, I'm not really sure what I'm passionate about now because I'm an outcast. Everybody in my life is straight, and I'm pretty much living a dyke life, a bug's life, man. You just get stepped on for no reason. Nah, for real, though. Shout out to the bugs and the insects and everything. That's how, that's how much of a life I have. But nah, for real, though. They're an important part of life you know i was i just finished reading a book um food history by matt siegel and i got a lot more studying to do it was basically saying that honey gets rid of things like herpes and things of that nature i was saying that in these fast food restaurants it takes a lot to you know sometimes the small things is what counts. Like I was saying in one of my previous videos, a lot of times you spray chemical on steel or metal or, you know, whatever, aluminum, whatever it is, you, um, it, um, actually deteriorates the value of that, whatever, whatever it is, or it's a cabinet or, um, what you call it, a table or anything like that. So, I guess I was wondering, like, if you build a building and it has a high success rate and you got the paperwork or you got the balls to prove that you built it, they may give you a blessing. That's the point, because you contribute to society and civilization. Without buildings and things, we wouldn't have, you know, all this different things to do every day there are some people that be like well america y'all ungrateful you go you got to appreciate natural resources though you might go to little islands under florida it ain't nothing there but island and you know maybe a little small house a couple of small houses and uh, the ocean surrounded by great for natural resources great for you know fertile land producing better quality of food you know fruit and stuff they were saying about like, like growing apples and all that stuff. Got a lot more studying to do though. But um, yeah, a lot of times when I look at people and I be like, why is this, that, and the third? A lot of times the small things you do count. You know, when it comes to being clean and all that stuff, it's inter it's intellectually based. You know, you gotta get to know somebody. When somebody see you got marks on your skin, you probably you know, I ran into some type of virus or something that's going to irritate it because, in, in essence, that's missing this and that and the third together, you know what I'm saying, locking tones and all that stuff, it creates uh, viruses and stuff, mixing one fluid with the next and so on and so forth, cross-contamination and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. As a kid, I was 
I was just like wondering what my future would be like. I'm getting jobs that give me an experience, like cashiering, cooking foods. Some lady said I needed help with coordinating skills. Um, but like I've said, the more you study, the more you can create a better outlet for yourself as far as you know your what you're capable of doing, your capabilities. You know, you have to really get to know a city. I'm not in Georgia. When you go somewhere, you know, when you, you're you an inbreed, I view myself as an inbreed. I got a lot more studying to do. I'm not sure, you know, learning world geography and, you know, understanding the population and the value that people have for their families. I'd be scared to get a job because some people really um have taken over just based off the fate of their lives. Like, Shit, this restaurant might be took over by this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's just how it works. If your people that you rolling with muscle, they can take over anything. When it comes to these fast food restaurants, anybody can walk in there and just say, I'm this, I'm that, and the third. But people going to watch your work ethic. Let me see if you about that life you say you is on this, on this paper. So with all that being said, I ain't have I haven't did anything but clean buildings and things of that nature. So the people who's getting value more than the ones that's actually building them, supposedly. But at the end of the day, this is why I'm a little insecure because growing up, a man is naturally being put on a pedestal and this is something I gotta work my way out of thinking, worried about. Because that's what I have to naturally worry about as a woman. You know, don't bypass these movies and shit. You know, as women, we naturally study manhood. As men, we, as, as, shit, as men, you naturally study womanhood. You know, a lot of people already got all they want. People having babies at early ages. But once upon a time, it probably wasn't no goddamn, what you call it, age limits and shit. It's just all about who you are and where you come from and what kind of, you know, I guess, kind of uh, family you got and what they how they raising you. You know what I'm saying? It, that's what I was dealing with. A lot of people in my life weren't raised the same. As women, we're supposed to be encouraged, but some of us are not. That's why you got people that want to turn themselves into men and shit. And that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I got so much more reading to do. You know, I have to value family because without us as women, it wouldn't be uh, actual people walking around. We help create the babies and so does the men. So, like they say, you got to make a choice in life. And... I have done them, but analyze heterosexual hood. You know what I'm saying? In my community, analyze the men, and pretty much they are benefiting from just being a man. You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't I feel inferior to them? Why wouldn't I get mad about that? I mean, why not? You know, you come from somewhere where men are being put on a pedestal, and they really are. You worry about you, have, you, you know what I'm saying? I worry about what the fuck the next bitch gonna do. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to kill me over no damn man. Period. I'm like, I can tell by the way my life is led that people really wanted me to just be with a male. And I'm like, I'm sorry for not giving y'all love like that, but that ain't what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be with myself and have fun. That's the only way to do it. But now that people have foreign bonds and things of that nature. Ain't no telling how much financial status that I can develop based off that fact. Because the only way to travel is not just to have a good reputation, but to have a pocket full of money. So if somebody want to be spiteful or somebody don't like you, ain't shit you can do about that. You know what I'm saying? Who wants to go around fighting all day? But that's what manhood is about these days. It's about the most. That's what I had to learn. And have these little rappers and shit I listen to who live by all these codes and shit. They ain't nobody special. They was venting. That's a step for. That's a step. But they not nobody special. 
If I move to Canada right now and work at McDonald's, I don't have to know my shit, no matter where I go. So I appreciate the little experience that they give me at these fast food jobs. And the reason why, you know, as a kid, I was worried about that. I used to go to counseling. And I used to be like, these people having babies and stuff. So they obviously got their shit together. Some of these people are born by casinos and stuff. And I'm like, nah, it's a lot of money floating out there, this, that, and the third. A lot of money floating in the city. So... If you're a person and you are and you have money, you have my deepest sympathy. But um yeah, I'm done, man. I'm checking my head to the library.